Hi you guys, today I'm going to be showing you what to do when your phone won't charge and how to fix these issues. People tend to freak out and panic when their phone suddenly isn't charging, thinking that this is the end of their phone's life and there's nothing they can do to fix it. But fear not, there are a bunch of simple tricks and steps to go over before you panic um, and consider buying a new phone. First and foremost, you should download an app called Amper, which is a great way to sort of check if your phone is charging and how much it's charging. It essentially just tracks how much current is being drawn from your phone when the battery is charging. So you're just gonna launch the App Store and you're going to search Amper. It'll be the first one here, but if you scroll down, there are a bunch of other apps that do this same thing. So if you have a preference of app, you can look into these um, and read all about them, look at the ratings, etc. Once it's downloaded, it's going to walk you through everything and explain how it works. Give it a go and plug your phone in um, while using the app. And if it lights up green, then that means it's charging. But if it's a negative or orange number, that means that it's not. Once you've done that, the next step would be to take a look at the cable that you're using. I think one of the most common things um, with your phone not charging would be the cable. I recommend buying the Apple um, iPhone chargers because they tend to last a lot longer. I've had really bad luck with, with phone chargers that I've bought from other stores or off-brand phone chargers. Look for little wears and tears in the cord. As you can see, mine is starting to break here at the end, so if I found that my phone wasn't charging anymore or not charging properly, this would be the first thing I would replace. Another thing I recommend is buying a regular sized charger. So these really long chargers can be tempting because they're super convenient and they reach a lot of places if you're laying in bed or on the couch or something. However, these long chargers aren't going to give your phone that strong charge that it um, needs because it's having to travel through this whole cord and you end up losing all of that power. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, you can also support the channel through super stickers. These basically just help fund the channel and it helps us continue to create content for you guys. Thanks so much and let's get back to the video. If you don't want to go through the trouble of buying a new one, it might be smart to borrow somebody's charger just to see if it is the charger itself. If you find that no chargers are working on it, then we're going to go to our next step, which would be the adapter. It may not be the cord itself, but it could actually be the adapter that's broken or damaged. So you can take a, you can inspect it if you want, um, but if there's no clear signs of damage, then the best option would be to do the same thing as before and borrow a different adapter from somebody or use another adapter that you have. As I said before, I do recommend using the Apple chargers. Um, they're better quality and they tend to break less often. Android Authority also has a list of the best wall chargers that you can buy that you can go check out, as well as a guide to picking the right charger. The next thing you wanna do is check your charging port. Something that a lot of us forget to do is clean out this little area here. It is hollow, so things do get in there like lint and sand. So by taking a little pin, you can just go in um, and delicately clean out anything that's been stuck in there. Don't use any water or anything wet. A dry pin is probably the best option. And don't use anything that could break and also get stuck in this port as well. You'd be surprised at how effective this is. A lot of the time your phone isn't charging because of, because there is no connection here because of the things that are hiding in there. Another really safe way to clean this out is by using compressed air. You can buy a uh, compressed air, but you can also use a, a manual one where you just squeeze the end of it and it um, pushes air out. If however, this was damaged and you noticed that it was loose and when, and when you plug this in, it wasn't really holding, then unfortunately there's not much you can do um, other than replacing this port or buying a whole new phone. But if you're on a tight budget and you're not in a place where you can afford to um, replace this or your phone, then there are other ways to charge your phone. Like for example, using a wireless charger. This would be the next thing I would recommend going to get or maybe borrowing from a friend. A lot of people use wireless chargers now. Apple and other companies are actually making phone cases um, that work on wireless chargers, but if you don't have one of those, you'll just simply have to remove your case and set it on top of the wireless charger. If for some reason your phone still isn't charging on that wireless charger, then you may have a deeper battery problem that you'll have to take care of. 
The next thing you want to do is try a, a different power source. So it could be that your, your outlet is broken or just simply not working for some reason. So a really simple solution would just be to go around your house and try a bunch of different outlets. You could also test um, your current outlet by plugging in a hairdryer or something else um, that clearly shows whether that outlet is working. The next thing you want to do um, is restart your phone. I always, always, always recommend doing this when you're having any sort of trouble with your phone. Even if it seems like a physical problem, it might not be. And so by restarting your phone, it's just going to kind of reboot any of the problems that your phone's having and hopefully fix that issue. To restart your phone, you're just going to press the power button and the volume button and you're going to press and hold these until the slide to power off comes up. You'll slide to power off and then you'll press and hold your power button until that Apple logo appears and your phone's going to turn back on. Another thing you can do is replace the battery. So you don't have to replace the whole phone. Sometimes it could actually just be your battery that needs to be replaced. You could also remove the battery and put it back in and that might get it working again. If you can't afford to buy a new battery, then this could be a problem solver for you. It's actually recommended that you replace your phone's battery around the three to four year mark if you've had it for that long. All batteries lose their power with time, uh, so it is recommended that you do change your battery. There's a video on how to keep your phone's battery life healthy for a long time, um, and there's certain methods that you can do and ways to charge your phone in order to keep that battery life up. You can check out that video, but I will give you a brief description of what I mean by that. So if your phone is constantly at a low um, battery percentage and you're not charging it enough on a day-to-day -day basis, this is going to deplete your battery a lot quicker. So you'll have to be a bit more patient and leave your phone plugged in longer and keep it at a higher percentage all the time. If your phone has actually never died before, um, it's actually smart to let the battery drain all the way until it's dead at least a couple of times and charge all the way from zero to 100. Once your battery has hit 100, you want to unplug it. When you keep it plugged in at that 100 for a long time, this can also start to wear on the battery. Next thing you're going to do is check for a software update in your phone. To check for this, you're going to go into your settings, go into general and we'll click on that software update option here. My phone is currently up to date, but if there was a software update here, um, I would want to make sure that that is up to date and um, update it right then and there. However, I do acknowledge that your phone has to be at a certain percentage in order to update. So if this isn't possible for you, then maybe using that wireless charger um, for the time being to update your phone will, would be helpful to you. Otherwise, hopefully one of these other methods worked for you. If you've tried all of these and none of them have worked, then we're going to go into your last resort options. So you'll want to check your warranty or insurance. Most phones come with a one year warranty. Apple also offers Apple Care. So if something happened and it wasn't your fault, oftentimes insurance will cover that. I think you pay like a $40 fee um, to get a full replacement of your phone if you still have that warranty. If you don't have that warranty, then unfortunately, you may have to replace your phone. Hopefully that's not the case though. Thank you so much for watching you guys. That's it for today's video. I will see you guys in the next video.